A unique initiative where underwater adventure meets in-depth research is coming to Canada's east coast and bringing with it safety concerns. Here's CTV's Chris and Ashkate. For just under $400, tourists brave enough could see a great white shark up close like this off Nova Scotia's southwest coast this summer. To my knowledge, uh, this is the first of its kind in Atlantic Canada. Marine biologist Neil Hammerschlag has studied sharks for more than two decades in South Africa and the Bahamas. We're going to be bringing people with us to uh, encounter these sharks and, in fact, cage dive with these great white sharks and help us with our science. While providing people with a close encounter, great whites will also be tagged and tracked to research why they are traveling to Nova Scotia more often. There's been no consultation with anybody, you know, that else that uses the water. However, the idea doesn't sit well with longtime surfer Walter Flower. He is concerned for those who also swim and surf in the Brooklyn and Liverpool area where the expedition will take place. To have someone, uh, you know, create a feeding area or, you know, you know, that's, I don't know, don't think that's going to go over too well with anybody. Hammerschlag and his team insist that they are not feeding the sharks and what they are doing is safe because their operation will be almost five kilometers offshore away from any surfers. They've been here forever. Yeah. It's just nobody ever, nobody ever knew about them. Yeah. But, you know, we're seeing more and more of them now. This shark researcher says the chances of being attacked by a great white here is very low. There really isn't a shark risk. You're not swimming at dawn and dusk, which are the peak hunting times here, out in groups and people in beaches. While great white shark tours is unique here, it is common in other parts of the world, in South Africa and Australia, with the tourism dollars in the tens of millions. Chris Nascote, CTV News, Halifax.